Toyota is the vehicle sponsor of both the Olympics and the Paralympics. And here in Paris, they brought 2,700 vehicles to help basically run all of the games. But we're here at the inclusive mobility park to show some of the less conventional vehicles that they've got here. And a lot of them are either electric or in fact, hydrogen powered. And one such vehicle, which, well, I'm not really gonna say it's a vehicle as such, it's more, um, it's more of a leisure activity, is this. So what is this? Well, this is perhaps the ultimate cargo bike because first things first, the important stuff. In here, we have a fridge with all of the essential ice cream, nice and cold. Might not need all of it now in this rain, but this cargo bike is not only electric, it's actually fueled by hydrogen. These specific tanks, this is a cutaway of what powers this. And you've got a couple of them in there, I'll show you now in a moment. This is a cutaway of what it's like. So this can carry eight kilograms of hydrogen. It's filled up in there, just like how it's done with the car. And this is technology that Toyota has learned from the Mirai car, which you'll be able to find that, a review of that on our website. And basically, these are capsules. This is a, this is the proper one. This isn't a, this isn't a prop. You can see there, it goes in like so. And all you got is here, you've got two slots and quite simply, it's not too heavy, it weighs, this is not full, but you pop it in. There's only one way you can do this. So you can't, there's no tools involved or anything like that. Pop it in, turn it, let it go. And you'll see in a second, it will automatically retract in. That's it, it's doing its thing. And these, these two will generate electricity that not only keeps everything cool here, but also powers the back of the bike as well. Really, really cool technology. I, I, if I had a hydrogen station near where I lived, I'd definitely have one of these. It's super cool. Very sci-fi as well. So quite like that. And you can have this little pod. You can have multiple ones. They even do an actual backpack. So you can just carry around your hydrogen tank. It's a bit like a, a giant flask of coffee or tea, but filled with hydrogen. Now that's the fun stuff, but there are some real proper functional vehicles here, such as this. This is the APM, the Accessible People Mover. This is a vehicle that Toyota has designed and built. They made these down in one of their plants that have a partner with in Portugal, fully electric. These are used to transport uh, visitors, athletes all around the Olympic Village. The whole idea of this is that it is super, super accessible for everybody. So the driver sits up here. You can see you can just, no doors to have to contend with or anything like that. It's very easy. People can just get in and out. All of these rails, bright yellow to help with people that might be, have any visual impairment and things like that. And you can just pop that out like so. Very simple and then acts as a little bit of a barrier to keep people in and then you can do the same like that. It's also got a built-in wheelchair ramp. It's a manual ramp. This slides right the way out, allows people in wheelchairs to get in and then they can tie themselves in with that. They've got extra grab rails here. Also all the seats here. So this is all actually a reflection of the layout of Paris as well. So there's a couple of nice little touches inside. Obviously all the materials are all hard wearing, but also sustainably sourced. So this is obviously a fully electric, very easy. It's not particularly quick. It will do around 20 kilometers an hour. It's only really designed to be used in sporting areas or the athlete's village, but they have actually been allowed to use these on the public roads uh, and certain places for the duration of the games, but quite a nice idea. It's quite simple how it's done. You can see the, the design, it's absolutely uh, function over form, but you know, that's exactly what you need to have in something like this. More than 250 of these have been brought to the games and afterwards they're all going to be uh, donated to various different things. So hospitals will get them, various other organizations afterwards. So it's great to see that these 
aren't just going to be mothballed after the games. They are going to live on and have a future life elsewhere after the games, which is exactly what it should be. Now, let's see what else we've got. So there's a couple of other pretty neat features, a lot of kind of cool accessory things and accessibility things. I'm gonna come up here and have a look at a couple of these. So these are designed for people that maybe have limited mobility or they're a true last mile solution. And these have been brought over from Japan. Very, very cool. It's kind of like a micro scooter, um, single wheel on the front. And maybe you can like, show me exactly oh, how this is. So, so you just switch on the battery there. Then you hold the small beep. You use the wet key. Yep. Plug it in. And that's it. And then here is to go faster. Okay, so we have a control then that we can adjust the speed on it. Yes. To and how fast can it go? Up to So this one is set to up six, to six kilometers, kilometers per hour. hour. Okay. For this device yes. it has been reduced for the speed. And then to move forward, you just press this button. Yep. To go reverse is this one. Okay. In case you have some brake. You've got a brake. When you stop accelerating, it automatically stops. Yes. And there is a full redundancy between the control, right and left side are the yes. same. Okay. And then the battery, how long will this last for? So the battery can last for basically 14 kilometers. Okay. So you can just stand on and exactly. press this and well, yeah, it's definitely uh, it's a bit more sedate than some of the micro scooters we see zooming around. But then again, it's pretty comfy. Got a Good bit, of la good bit of place to stand and can go around this way as well. So I don't know if I'll... Uh... It, also, it also does detect... It also does detect any objects in front, so it gives me a little, uh, little beep when it does it. But yeah, I guess if you need to get that last little bit where you're going, this is also something that you could use. Again, another pretty unusual Toyota vehicle. It's the first time I've ever tried one out, but um, yeah, pretty cool. So you saw me standing up on the, this is the sitting down one. This is the C Plus Walk S. And uh, the principle is the exact same. It's all the same controls, but I've got a nice comfy chair behind me. So I can just uh, up to four kilometers an hour, this will do. And you know, I, I I don't necessarily need it, but you can imagine for people that are, you know, that need some mobility assistance, um, really, really good. Actually, so when I slow down, it actually detects the objects. So it does help that you're not going to go and potentially hit anything. And uh, yeah, four kilometers an hour, that's good walking pace. And yeah, very easy. It can go a little bit faster as well. And I imagine you could probably kit this out with some accessories like a basket or anything else if you had some shopping to do or anything like that. But again, really neat solution, really stable and secure. So if maybe if you're a little bit unsteady on your feet for whatever reason, yeah, very, very uh, simple, easy, effective bit of mobility from Toyota. Okay. One other really fascinating bit of technology here. Giacomo, explain to us what this is exactly. So this is the Jenny. It is a self-balancing micromobility device and it works similar to the Segway. Okay. So when you lean forward, it goes forward. As you try to yeah. lean back, you stop. Okay. You have a steering wheel to turn and go. And it's actually be inspired by the Segway because our CEO, after 10 years in a wheelchair, had severe shoulder problems from this motion here. Sure, yeah. And yeah. after he decided to find a better solution, he was inspired by the Segway, combined it with an upper seat, and that was the first prototype back in 2012. Now, uh, fast forward to 2019, after using this device, finding a new sense of mobility and freedom, we had to reinvent the technology because we didn't have the Segway base anymore. Okay, so yeah. So this is five years in the making, and this is the final product. This is the Jenny Zero and it's made completely by us yeah and it's the purpose of it is to break down the barriers of mobility to make an inclusive device that everybody can use so uh, when we say i mean people might look at this and go is you know it, is this something that is exclusive for a wheelchair user for example you see it doesn't have to yeah. because it can go 20 kilometers an hour okay 24 kilometers on one charge so it okay. can replace your car okay that's right. that's the intended purpose it's yeah. not meant to replace a wheelchair but it's meant to replace your vehicle 
Okay. Because when you go to work, more often than not, you're not doing more than 10 kilometers. Sure, before. yeah, yeah, yeah. When you're going to get groceries, you're not going that far. When you're yeah. doing a lot of things, you're not actually going that far. Sure, So okay. having a vehicle that is much lighter and honestly easier to get around in a city like Paris. Yeah, yeah. It makes a whole difference. Okay, all right, I gotta try this out, so. So um, sit, just make sure you don't yeah. put your weight on. So I'm gonna sit on here and uh, well, Lovely. First of all, this is a comfy seat. This is okay, and I've got a bit of back support. And then so now this is okay. Comes up. So There's this one button that does everything. Okay, so this is this is it. So it's pretty simple. And then you push this down. Okay, and the handles come out. So this is my left, right. Exactly, and it just works horizontally, yeah. not like a bike. Just also, like, side like this. I noticed that this has like little legs that come out of exactly. it when you it's have parked. Kickstands for when you're parked so that okay. you don't fall over when you're getting on. Okay. I'm gonna take the. It's like getting on the horses like that. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Speaking of them, yeah. You ready? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You see. Okay. Right. Wow. That's. That it's it's yeah. up to you to find your point of balance. Okay. Yeah. Just leaning forward. Yeah. Side, it makes you go forward, and leaning back stops you. Okay, and then I can go left or right. Exactly. And I, I love that I've even got a little speedometer on this. So. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that's it. I can just. Unfortunately, and then just. You can't do the slope because it's pouring, but. Okay. It's uh yeah, that's actually pretty simple. And then But if you want you can try the step here. Okay, so this is obviously proves that it's not just it's not just uh Exactly, but you, you can see, you can even just, this is what somebody's gonna experience on footpaths and especially in older cities. Yeah. This yeah. is something that changes everything because when you can do small steps like this, it means you can get on and off the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. Without yeah. having to go down the slope or anything. And this, how fast is it? 20 kilometers an hour? This one goes six. Six, okay. Because, yeah, yeah. But because I need to be if, safe. If, if somebody has one and they're experienced. 20 kilometers, 20 kilometers an hour. hour. Okay, that's, it's uh It varies it's, on each country, the limitations. Sure, okay. The maximum speed yeah. it can go is 20. And it just totally turns on itself. That is, uh, that's really cool. <laughs> okay, and the Genie Zero. Yep, the Jenny okay. Zero. Jenny Zero. And then to stop, you just push this two times. And that's it. So it's like you've got your park in your car or whatever, and, exactly. and that's it. You drop the steering Simple. wheel, and you yeah. jump right off. Super. Great job. Really, really cool. Okay. Thanks, Giacomo. Appreciate it. That is uh, that's a very, very cool bit of kit as well. Toyota has also brought this along. It's called the Yoshi. And yes, there may be a bit of a nod to a certain character from Super Mario Brothers, but this is a really interesting mobility solution for people who are in a wheelchair. And basically it means that what they can do is they can uh, pop off their brakes here. And you this uh, whole bar attaches on underneath the seat. So we do that and I'll just pop on my brakes for a moment. This clips in under there and then clicks in like so. And now they have basically electro mobility. So what you've got is you've got a digital little instrument display here on top, which just shows you the speed, um, how much your battery, how much energy you have, all that kind of stuff is there. You can adjust the speed up and down with this uh, touch pad, this button here. We'll leave it on two for the moment. And you've got forward and reverse gear as well. So then once you've got all that set up, you can just undo your brakes and you then pull this forward and it will then start to do everything you need it to do so it'll pull the chair along at whatever speed you have it set at and it's very easy so you can obviously people will have various different needs depending on this so they can have it either with both their hands or with one hand um, all you've got to do is pull back on this so you can do it with your arms anyone who might have a, a mobility restriction can do this and then you just push it forward and that's the brake stops instantly as well so you've got you can see it right down there you've got a brake on the front wheel as well so the whole idea is that you push it forward as if you're going to fall for example your natural thing is to do it that way it does also have a reverse gear as well so you can obviously then select it in reverse and it's equally then just as easy to take off if you do need to the reaction to this, Toyota have told me, has been really, really positive. They've had a lot of people ask about this. This is just something that Toyota has made up. They don't currently 
commercially sell it, but that is now being reconsidered because um, obviously this isn't the only type of system in the world that does this, but this has been a big hit with people here at the Olympics. So Toyota may well go and put something like this into commercial production for any member of the public to get. Okay, I'm here with Guillaume, who this is, you're gonna to explain to what this is. This is the, the wheel. Wheel, yeah. Wheel, okay, right. What is this exactly? So Will is a Japanese company who has been created to create a mobility device for people with disability. So the idea was to create something with a nice design and help people to accept the fact they're going to use a, a wheelchair. Yeah. And uh, we created also the autonomous device. So we, we, we sell wheelchair with a joystick for people, but we also have this version. So we use it in an airport or museum or uh, hospital. So people just need to sit and the chair can drive by yourself. So people just need to sit and it's going to bring them to the destination and then the chair come back by yourself. So, uh, and you've, we've got, you can see here, you've got, you can put your luggage or a bag in the back. Exactly. So somebody just sits in this. I see that there's a, a, you have a, screen? A, a screen here, yeah. like a touch pad. Exactly. So and, people uh, just need to so choose. So I can the pick my language, my language. English. And so if I was say in an airport, the idea is that the airport map would be loaded into this already. Exactly, so yeah. If so I've got to go to gate So K you can 53. imagine you have all the gates uh, list. Yes. And you can choose where you need to go. Yes. So I pass all the criteria and uh, I hit agree. And at the moment we have it programmed for a little little cafe we have up here. Right. So, uh, but this could be anything. It could be a, yeah, okay. a museum uh, tour or a yeah. hospital or an airport. So it starts to count down. So it's giving me the device will depart in two and one and, and go. that's it. So it's so, bye -bye. it's been, a, bye -bye. you can come with me if you want. So this has been pre-programmed for this temporary area we're in. It's got LiDAR, it's got, so it knows everything what's around it. Exactly, and so you have sensors, so if someone step in front, uh, it's gonna stop. Okay. And tell people to move. Okay, right. oh, it's gonna tell them to move, okay. And uh, we didn't activate here, but uh, the chair now is able to go around something. If uh, okay. there's a luggage or something stuck, yes, yeah. it's gonna be able to go around. And it's also connected to elevator in case you need to switch, uh, yes. go to another floor. I even see, so it actually gave me, I'm arriving soon at my destination, but you also can call a member of staff and now it tells me I've arrived. Mm -hmm. So I can go and get my coffee or whatever exactly. else I need, or I'm at the, I'm at the gate maybe. And the and chair then gonna come back. This yeah. is, I can see it's already counting down again. So this is then just gonna return to its, yeah. to, to wherever it was programmed to start to from, so, station, from, yeah. from, its, uh, from its station. And, this is a, it's such a, a, a neat bit of, of kit, you know, it's, uh, you can see how that would be so useful in places. Yeah, exactly. And uh, like this, the dedicated staff can focus with people who have real needs. Yes. And yeah. this is for people who have issue to walk or old people. Yes. Yeah. But yeah. many people uh, yeah, will need this device and like this, they don't have to to request a, a special staff or anything. And this could go back, say, in theory, to a charging station maybe in the future and it will... Yeah, coming soon. So the yeah. next step is to have a, yeah, a charging station, so... The, the front wheels are really, really yeah, amazing on this. Yeah, this used to be our patent. So the, way that, um, the way that these, uh, these front wheels uh, and Yeah, that's amazing. Around. That's really the, uh, the main innovation. Yeah. You can, you can turn around very easily. And even yeah. for people with a joystick, it's very easy to use uh, yeah. in a small apartment or a small space. Yeah, really interesting to see this sort of technology in the, in the real world. So yeah, 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 thank you so much. Yeah, thanks Guillaume. <laughs> so that's a pretty interesting look at some of the really exceptional equipment that's here, part of the Olympics and the Paralympics. Toyota is innovating, not just in cars, but it's obviously looking to the future and it'll be interesting to see what else it's gonna come up with. But there's some great technology here and it's great to see that sort of mobility being rolled out to more and more people.